understood. What's up? It's Camille. Just being me. What does that mean? It means I do what I normally do. I watch what I normally watch and I record it. Why? Because I needed a fucking hobby. And tonight we are moving on to episode four of Interview with a Vampire. So where we left off last time, Louis was still um, continuing to adjust to life as a vampire. He was still having some problems with doors. But he's starting to realize what that means for him long term. He was yelling at um, Lestat and saying, you know, I'm losing everything that I ever cared about. And I think it's finally starting to click that, yes, you're going to lose everything that you care about. But we also saw that he rescued a little girl at the end of the episode. And just like this is based off of a book, I feel like tonight's episode is going to be the start of a new chapter in this story. And I'm excited for it. Now, before I get started, let me talk about some Camille shit real fast. So anybody that's seen any of my other videos, it may have seemed like I kind of knew what I was doing, but in actuality, I really kind of didn't know what I was doing. And I just got some new software and now I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So this is more like a warning if you get to the middle of the, uh, the video and like it flips upside down and I start talking like a fish. It's probably because I've done something that I don't know how to fix and I've given up and just said fuck it and left it in the video. So I am, like I said, a new channel going through some growing pains. I'm learning new stuff. I'd laugh at it actually. Anyway, um, if you're new here, this is your first time. Like I said, I'm a new channel, welcome. Please feel free to do all of the YouTube things. Please and thank you. I'm done rambling. Let's get into the episode. The ruthless pursuit of blood with all a child demanding. That's really pretty. That <laughs> I know it's been 10 years. I haven't forgotten what a book is. This is, this is a book. You were scheduled to have your levodopa transfusion this week. Been tapping my phone. Mr. de Point Dulac has arranged a physician to administer it here tomorrow. Your doctor in New York was consulted and has given consent. You'll find a note from him in your electronic mailbox. Mr. He talks like a, resting today. a non sentient robot from Westworld. One of the people that greets you when you get off the little bullet train. Quite the house Ooh, quiet. a cherry blossom the tree. Designer hired was a sentimentalist. You are getting access to very precious items from the archives. Wear these when handling the materials. That'd be a nice calming library to read in. Would they say 1917? <clears throat> Harris, November 1945. Of his diaries, I believe. But when Auntie came back, she got stuck on the other side and brought the fire back with Ooh. her. That's when the Black Angel came. He was beautiful, and he carried me like I was made of feathers. Help me! Give me some water! And that's when I guessed I was in heaven. So I waited for the pain <laughs> to go away in my mama. Please! I don't know where to bite. Her body's all charred. You know you can do this! Oh, so she wise. got burnt. You were ready to abandon our home. Now you want to throw Oh, no. Not to die. I wonder if Lestat's doing this out of love for um, Louis, or is he doing it because he thinks that that'll keep Louis close? He has no idea what's happening to her. There should be like a rule book where you can't turn somebody in unless you tell them what the fuck is about to happen. And then I tasted it. Enough. And what I thought were angels were really hell demons. But see, hell when demons. I died, right away, I had a lot of questions. So this my new house? Is if you want it to be. So where'd you find me? At my old house? We can hear people's thoughts. Prove it. What am I thinking now? Well, I can't. I'm your maker. So you can hear me, but he can't. I make him the dumb one. 
<laughs> if he makes you, he can't hear your thoughts anymore. I'm not human no more, am I? You're a vampire. Well, I can see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that? We're a family? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of have no choice. But with no secrets. That's where we burn bodies. Why do we burn bodies? Because we kill people. Uncle Les and Daddy Lou are rich. There's always the birds and the beasts. Or you can endeavor on an experience that feels like eating syrup while riding on the wind. <laughs> this or that. He kind of made it an impossible choice. Claudia! 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 Hey, no, no, get back here, Missy. She was creepy as fuck. Young lady. No! He said, not a cop. <laughs> Confusion, regret, euphoria. You're going to wake up feeling a whole lot of things. What did I just say? Don't eat cops. Got to listen to your elders when they're talking. <laughs> You're new to this. It's... I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I think I'm on top. Sedation is what she needs. She'll settle. Claudia! Did she get somebody else? Claudia! Mm. Come in! What'd you do that for? The sun comes up, we go down. That's never gonna change. We got rules, little miss. She talked to the book again. Why do you talk to the book? <laughs> the book is her friend. The book is a book. Good night. Aw, she sleeps with him. Uncle, I got a question. When I'm tired, I'm not so kind. C'est toi qui lui fait fait ça. C'est une fille curieuse. Uh, that oh, sounds God. funny in French. Tu as oublié. <laughs> Bonne nuit. Good night. <laughs> Bonne nuit. Lost in the family. Her own pink casket. Heart condition. Yeah, she gonna pass real, real soon. It's so soft. <laughs> <Something. laughs> He's just a positive I thinker. That's all. Aren't they in like a big old house? Can't they put them in a different room? Aww. We don't really have fireflies here. Secrets. How does it work? Love between two men. I don't know. First light like love. Is that what he's up to when he goes out alone? Sometimes his kills get extravagant. <laughs> I don't like seeing it. Oh, yeah, he likes to take his time and drain and, and all that other shit. Yeah. Some killing has a consequence. Fire in your house was a consequence. I, I used to get a little caught up in human affairs. Then what? Then you. What's up, girl dads? <laughs> Got one. So those are her diaries. How does Muhammad feel about vampires? Is it Ashura every day here in the penthouse? How is your reading coming along? For a killing machine, I kind of like her. I interrupted <laughs> you were praying. Asr Namozi. Yeah, that is pretty fucking rude. Namozi. You're not from Dubai. I thought you were a native. Dubai's a child, Mr. Malloy. No one's a native. I wonder why his identity is even being brought up. I wonder, are her, like, the books that talk about her, are they written like she wrote them? Just curious. I have my own room now, which is good, because Daddy Lou can be smothering just as Uncle Les can get crotchety, and, well, sometimes a door can be a best friend. You gonna stop throwing stuff, I know that much. <laughs> How old are you again, Uncle Les? 160. 159. <laughs> that one year matters. <laughs> we do like mortals do. I wonder laugh. what year it is. We laugh. Oh. We sleep. 
We love. And then the phone rang last night. And all the easy times stopped. What's about to happen? Say again. Something life changing. Uh oh. People are dressed in black. I didn't know he had a mama till he lost her. Oh, his mom died. Who are you here with, honey? My dad and uncle. Who are you? It's your aunt Grace and her husband Levy. You have a kid. Girl's an orphan. Adopted her off of Liberty Street. The nieces and nephews Christmas. Grace is 30. Watch yourself, Levy. We need to talk about the house. They scream every time he's around. By my mom. You forget what I did to that door, Grace? You should measure yourself. You threatening your sister? Claudia has expressed an interest in going home. Daddy Lou said I had been away from people too long. I didn't know how to behave right anymore. But Uncle Lou said I behaved just fine. <laughs> she probably didn't know how to behave in the first place. There ain't no doubt Daddy Lou is my favorite. Hello. But sometimes Hello. Uncle Les and I have a lot in common. This is what the meat calls a lover's lane. And by my estimation, no blood is sweeter. Yours? Mine. She's all excited. You gonna stand there watching, little girl? Where's your mama? Did she just crawl out of the swamp or something? <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's with me. I've been 18 for seven months now. And it's time I started acting like it. I forgot how old she was when they first turned. Happy hunting. Oh, she's going out all on her own. Darky playing dress up in the dark. <laughs> oh, y'all are laughing at the wrong one. Diary. His name and now she has Bob. her first crush. He's got veins like rivers. Or maybe not. He just wants to eat him. Well, I had to make sure you wouldn't faint again. Tell you, I don't. It looks like I one of the Jackson Five. I forgot which one I though. I want to know what his. I want to know what his tongue tastes like. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, he left her some flowers. That would be really good right now. I haven't had like a no, Sunday or a I, I milkshake or anything in a long time. Uh oh, she about to get her groove on. It didn't go very well for Louie the first time. Remember he had to bite he had to bite himself. He couldn't control himself. Claudia, you don't even look like a girl. You an angel. Don't do it, don't bite him. I don't know. She's biting him. Yeah, you killed him. Took it a little too far, honey buns. I was, and he, and I bit him. It's easy to get carried away when you're young and in love. Please save him. Turn him. I can't. He's dead. You didn't have to kill him. You killed him completely. Let's start. <laughs> Just try, please. Now go on. Clean up after yourself. That's really rough. When you think about like your first heartbreak, I accidentally killed my first Stop boyfriend. Squirming. This is why we never get close to mortals. Because sooner or later, they end up dead. Session four: Louis de Pontelac and the child vampire Claudia. Where were all these diaries in 1973? Scattered. One in New Orleans, another in Paris. Bullshit. You gonna answer that? I loved her unconditionally. You had a daughter. I had a daughter. I Let him two. explain it the way that he the wants to. Is, and if you were to come across their diaries and learn in detail how and when you failed them, would you share those failures with a brash young reporter you met at Polynesian Mary's? Where have you reached? 1923-ish. Her date with Charlie. Charlie's death ushered in one of the darkest eras in our lives. Claudia was a band-aid for a shitty marriage. 
<laughs> he thinks like I do that she was almost like a last chance kid. Don't ever have one of those, by the way. She felt like she was already broken hearted and you burned her first boyfriend. She's the one who killed him. And Diary, you think a girl whose mama died in childbirth, whose daddy gave her away to a mean old auntie, he beat her, who died in a fire, but what the back fuck is she going through? Well, you think that girl wouldn't know what Bunny was? She's losing her goddamn that, mind. That same girl was being raised to kill like her demon parents did. 14 year old baby doll body as her mind and spirit turned 19. 358, you dumb, dumb die. How does she even get up in the morning? Well, I'm doing just fine. And how do I know that? Because the first man I killed called me the devil. And the last boy I killed. Call me an angel. And that what are you about so to do? Much more fun out there to have. I'm just getting started. Okay. How is that going to help anything, little lady? So my first thoughts from the episode, I love that it was told mostly from Claudia's perspective. I love that. I love that it came from the diaries. And I was curious, is it written that way in the books as well? Or is it written differently? Because if it's written like it came from her diaries, I'm pretty sure that's like the best part of the books. I'm pretty sure somebody that is a book reader can tell me down in the comments. I might actually read that part. <laughs> So while I was watching this, all I could think, Claudia reminds me of the plant from Little Shop of Horrors and Louis is like um, Seymour because that girl ain't got no chill. It was also like fun watching Louis and Lestat having to, you know, parent this wild child because that's definitely what she was. And that final scene of her like losing her shit in the um, coffin. Yo, I felt like I was in there with her. Like they did a really good job because she lost it. <laughs> anyway, I saw the preview for the next episode and it looks like our little family is going to have to face some consequences. Why does it feel like I'm talking about the Sims? Yeah, I guess this definitely could be, you know, the Sims. Anyway, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I decided in honor of Halloween that I'm going to revisit a couple of the movies that traumatized me as a child because I've never gone back and watched them and I've never gone back and watched them on weed. On weed? That's the way to say it, man. It's just whack. So if you're curious to see how that turns out, consider subscribing so that you get to see them when they come out. I'm also doing um, House of the Dragon and the challenge and whatever the fuck else I feel like doing because this is my hobby channel. The last time I looked, I am um, about 50 subs away from 500, which is halfway to a thousand, which means I'm halfway to being somebody around here. So thank you so much to everybody that supported me this week. Um, anybody else, like I said, please feel free to do the YouTube things. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and everybody take care of yourself. I'll see you next week.